Yeah, I just came to beat this, no longer a mystery. Black sheep is your bird right, it's cold for the one who brings the light. I bet if there's a crack, you don't fall back, remember who you are. No rest for the wicked with their skull degree. The you spell work as projection to send out envy, hate, and jealousy. You are the prototype, your ancestors champion. They shield you and send back those spiritual attacks. You are divinely protected from the dummy bats. Yeah. Big Cat, the most high, got your back. He sits high and looks low, so don't get smoked to smoke yourself. Big Cat, move in silence. Only time you speak is to say check me. Namaste! Grand Rising, Big Cat. Welcome or welcome back to Frequency Phoenix 555. For your message or messages, come in, come on, I've got intel, recon is afoot. May your comings and goings be forever covered by the grace of the Most High. Fabulous, gorgeous, and lovely big cat. Anyhow, before we press on at a hot trot, I've put together um, an astrological reading for P. Diddy, Sean Coombs, Mr. Take That, Take That himself. On the video, the astrological video, I have given you the timelines for when the trial is going to start, when he will start naming names, and when he will be coming up to sentencing. His issues are going to be going from 2024 to 2025. Trust and believe. All of the intel is there. And make sure you mark it on your almanac. So when these dates kick off, you can say, Kay said that. She said it. She did. Mm -hmm. As I always do. I always tell you. <laughs> Fist bump. Let's carry on. Let's carry on. A good shufti. We have the energy of a five. Just finished talking about P. Diddy and we're right up in the confusion and the conflict, darling dears. The energy of the five. So, the energy of the five is representative of leaning bestie by your good fortune, darling dears. The middle of the low shoe grid, darling dears. So, it, it encompasses all directions communication coming in, going out, possibly traveling, darling dears. But this is your good fortune center. It's represented by, represented by Earth elements, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Virgo. And your power colors over the next few days is yellow and um, other Earth tones, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's drop down and get our eagle on. So the energy of the one, darling dears, the energy of the one says you are going to have to make a major decision. Don't make the major decision until after the next new moon, which will be on the 2nd of October. Um, it's a solar eclipse in Libra, darling dears. You also have the energy of the four. So there's going to be a lot of communication backwards and forwards, letter writing, phone calls. Either you're giving it out or somebody's trying to get in contact with you. Mm -hmm. It also speaks about someone or something coming into your life, darling dears, which is about to have a profound effect, effect on your thinking. For others, the energy of the four speaks about what? <laughs> An affair some kind of romantic interlude in your life darling dears mm -hmm. okay the energy of the one darling dear speaks about opportunity and new beginnings there's potential in this new beginning it also speaks about you being original you're more authentic yourself being yourself okay the energy of the fourth number four it speaks about you being in tip-top manifestation mode darling dears creating a new level of stability and structure in your life Okay, you also have the element of the three darling dears. This is what the back front neck tabbers, darling dears. Yes, the merchants of slander, Jeremiah 9 Forte. They haven't forgotten you, darling dears. They can see some kind of change going on in your life, darling dears. Lots of arguments, lots of quarrels. They're possibly arguing amongst themselves, enemy in their own self, darling dears. 
Mm -hmm. Trapping themselves in spell work with their words. Remember, words are spellings, darling. They're spells. Remember, I told you that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're having an issue because they see some your life path itself is about to change direction darling dears maybe the tides are turning in your favor this also speaks about the energy of the three it's going to be a sudden and dramatic change in your life and again we have the energy of the one again you're going to be making a major decision but wait until after the next new moon in libra on the 2nd of october all right mm -hmm. okay According to the rune stones, darling dears, lean in some more, bestie. <laughs> lean in some more. The energy of the five on the rune stone is represented by um, the chariot energy. So it also speaks about obviously being spiritually guided, spiritually protected. It tells you that you're going to be traveling. Some of you are going to be relocating, darling dears. Mm -hmm. It's almost as though you're going through a dance of your life or the time of your life. Yes, I love it. I don't hate it. The energy of the chariot is the warrior within you, darling. Dears. It tells me that you're extremely um, controlled, you're determined, and it also speaks about victory um, coming within sight, darling. Dears. Mm -hmm. Okay. It also speaks about you not making a rush decision. It's about you being focused, darling. Dears. Making informed decisions. Okay. But it's about you taking decisive action in the direction you decide to take, darling dears, with confidence, whether it's in a relationship or something towards your personal goals. The chariot always reminds you to stay disciplined and in control of your emotions, darling dears, because man, whoever has control of your emotions, right, is your king. Are you kidding me, blood, brah, or sistream? You better tap that right now. That is Jamaican for stop it. Tap it. Tap it right now. Mm -hmm. Remember, we're looking for what? Emotional maturity. Being able to hold your own emotionally, darling dears. All right. Did I finish telling you off? Yes, I finished telling you off. Okay. The energy of the five, darling dears. You could be a life path five or the numbers 5, 14 or 23 will be prominent in your life over the next few days. The number five is representative of the letters E, N, and W. This also represents Mercury energy. Mercury rules um, Virgo and... Did I just say Virgo? Why did I say that? Yeah. Am I speaking foolishness? No, I'm not. It's Virgo and Gemini. Excuse them, my civil play. It's about your skills, darling dears. You are a free spirit. The energy of Gemini... Um... Gemini, oh my gosh, the energy of Mercury in Gemini, it tells me that you are extremely curious, you're flexible, flexible and extremely sociable, again, the communication's coming in, backwards and forwards, darling dears, okay, the energy of Mercury in Virgo, it tells me that it, it calls you, because Mercury in Gemini calls you the, the magician, right, Mercury in Virgo calls you the priestess, okay so it tells me that you're ritualistic and um, you're being of service to others darling dears this is where all your blessings come back and it tells me that you're extremely organized wanting fairness balance darling dears okay mm -hmm. okay and it also speaks about your your routines your daily routines things that you do on a daily basis um your habits it also speaks about um your employment that maybe somebody's changing their employment darling dears the um six house could also speak about retirement it speaks about caretaking somebody's also going to be taking some more um some more exams or you need to take more exams it tells me somebody's also looking at um their herbs their herbs natural remedies darling dears okay it also speaks of yeah because the sixth house is about your pills darling dears what you get from the doctor somebody also going to be making some form of post office visit darling dears this is extremely important for your communications that's a message for someone else okay yeah the sixth house could also represent debt darling dears yeah daily routine maybe overcoming some debt mm -hmm. okay as i said you are a free spirit darling this highly intellectual um your luckiest days will be um wednesday friday and sunday your luckiest numbers one five and seven it's representative of the um quincux 
This tells me that what you've been through, darling dears, was extremely stressful, but it was all for your fortitude and for your spiritual growth. And it also highlights that the Queen Cux is going to bring a quick change into your life, darling dears. Whatever bad phase or whatever um, waiting for something to change, okay? It's about to change quickly, darling dears. The energy of the five tells me that you've learned a major, a major life lesson. This is going to create constructive freedom in your life. Again, it highlights the travel. You're being versatile, darling dears. But change is most definitely afoot. Why? The change comes with conflict and confusion, darling dears. But change is how we grow. Mm hmm. Okay. All right. Um... The energy of the five, according to um, the 48 laws of power, darling dears, is what? Protect your reputation with your everything, darling dears. Your reputation is everything. Hang with four bottom feeders. Who will be number five? Not I, says the cat. Remember I told you that? Fist bump. <gasps> I'm a poet and didn't know it. Fist bump bump. Hey, hey. Let's press on. Let's press on. So you've got the gossiping... Gossiping Betty's at the back, darling dears. Let's get these decks and get them out of the way, first and foremost. First message coming out for you, darling dears. Gossiping, talking about you. Oh, this one wanted to stand straight up amongst the deck. Yeah, whoever these people are, these what? Bottom of the pit, darling, is those on the rocks of life. They're an emotional drain on your life. And did I not just say it's about emotional maturity? Whoever has your emotions is your king. We also have what? You know your worth, darling, dears, and add tax. Remember, you run things. Things don't run you. Mm-hmm. We've also got hermit energy, darling, dears, the good, the golly, and gosh. So it speaks about you having to be isolated from a situation. Yes, maybe someone iced you out of a situation or you iced your own self out, darling, dears. Mm -hmm. Lean in, bestie. Lean in. It speaks about you having gone within. As always advised, as a big cat, darling dears, for this inner guidance, you've been able to reflect on many a situation, darling dears. It also speaks about you having some kind of issue with your digestive system, your, your intestines, okay? Because gut health is your wealth, darling dears. Remember I told you that, okay? Maybe these are the herbs that you're researching, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, isolation from a situation, darling dears. In a relationship... Lean in, bestie. Lean in. Okay. In a relationship, it's like you, you're you someone that needs this alone time, darling, just because it, it, it requires the clarity that's needed for your situation. Okay. It's about your deeper needs. It's about you having to allow yourself the space to recharge and gain clarity before you move forward in any direction. And it's about you getting the answers, darling dears, that is gleaned from said clarity, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Wise, darling dears. But it also speaks about um, a new partner coming towards you. Ninth house things, darling dears. The ninth house. Did I say the ninth house? Yes, I did. Yeah, it's Virgo energy, darling dears. Again, Virgo is coming back up, but it's speaking about the number nine. We're going to speak about the number nine. It's the ninth tarot card, darling dears. But the ninth house is um, Jupiter energy. So you could be um, expanding yourself spiritually. Maybe you're going through some kind of higher court, darling dears. It's about your morals and your ethics sticking to them. Some of you are going into higher education. It speaks about travel again. Travel is definitely highlighted. Foreign countries, learning new cultures, new languages. Okay. Um, the, th the ninth house also represents your third child. Okay. Mm -hmm. Somebody's also going to be publishing some kind of a book. It also speaks about astrology. Maybe you've taken it up or you're diving more deeper into astro astrology. It's something to do with your grandparents some kind of abundance coming towards you darling dears and in some cases the energy of the hermit represents a prophet darling dears but definitely something that you're publishing something on social media okay 
but you will be traveling over water. Remember I told you that. It's about your beliefs, darling dears. Sticking to your beliefs and knowing them to be true. Why? Because you went within, darling dears. This is a higher level of spirituality. It speaks about your philosophic side, your philosophies of life, your spirituality or your religion, darling dears. Mm -hmm. This is the house of big thoughts and big ideas. Love it. I don't hate it. Okay. Let's go to the second deck. For the gossiping gossipers, the drains, the emotional drainage of it all, darling dears. Straight from the crevice of the devil's walls, their wickedness and their spell casting. But remember, this is boomerang season. Yeah, and as I said it, look. Can you see? It's an outside influence, darling dears. Yeah, the emotional drain. And again, two different decks. Know your worth and add tax. Hey, hey, you are the prototype of your lineage, darling dears. The isolation, the seclusion. Maybe you was highlighted or handpicked to be the black sheep of your family. Well, guess what? The black sheep always metamorphoses into the goat, the greatest of all times. Possibly the first millionaire, self-made millionaire of your lineage, darling dears. Why? Because you've been sent forward to what? Break generational curses, create generational wealth, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Guide and teach all the way through. Yeah. Okay, let's get the outside energy. I'm going to go with the life lesson deck. They dropped out. Do we take the ones that dropped or do we move away from them? But there's three of them. I wanted one. We'll go with the three. Yeah, letting go of a situation, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Walk away from this situation in order to resolve it. Didn't I say the emotional drain is an outside influence, darling dears, pulling on your energies? Yeah, new moon is a good time, especially with this solar eclipse, okay, to to um start afresh, begin new things, darling dear, set things in place. Mm -hmm. The new moon is, yeah, as I said, put creating a new beginning for you, sowing those seeds, right, from the inky darkness and into the light, this is for enlightenment and then, as I said, a new beginning, why, because of the music, you may be a musician, darling, dears, or music helps you, helps drive whatever it is you've got going on in the forefront, darling, dears, but remember what Bob Marley said, mm -hmm. you, you, darling, dears, you dance, in the rain while others just get wet and again it speaks about your psychic abilities being protected darling dears every one of these cards are coming out with an angel mm -hmm. it's giving you options again libra energy darling dears the seventh house mm -hmm. bestie lean further in <laughs> It's your one-to-one -one relationships, darling dears. It speaks about somebody's going to be seeking you out as a confidant, but you are extremely loyal, okay? But you're learning whom to give said loyalty to. It also speaks about a lot of people in competition with you, darling dears. They're in competition, why? Because they admire your qualities. They'll never tell anyone. They'll take that to the grave, darling dears. This is arguments. It could involve a separation or some kind of divorce, darling dears. These people, these emotional drains that are outside influences, darling dears, mm -hmm. they are open enemies. Remember I told you that. Okay, the seventh house is also the house of binding relationships, permanently binding. Okay, we already mentioned divorce. And again, the seventh house also speaks on astrology and something to do with your lower back. Maybe you're experiencing lower back pain. The second house is also representative of your second child. Okay, somebody's also doing some form of foreign trading. Okay, it's going to be going extremely well. Everything is in the upright. Okay, some form of public speaking, darling dears. I already said publishing and something to do with media. You're doing very well, darling dears. Let no one tell you anything else. Yeah, because you came here to teach as well as learn, darling dears. Mm -hmm. The leader of the pack, you could also be a painter, darling dears. Some form of teaching that you've been doing. You're about to get the big payday for that. Why? It took a lot of this hermit energy, darling dears, going within. 
This is you taking accountability for your accent, actions, forgiving people, even getting forgiveness from people who never intended to, to get it, to give it to you, darling dears. It's accepting it anyway, right? Dusting yourself off. Why? Because fall down seven times, get up eight. And when we fall down, we make sure we fall on our back. Because as Les Brown says, if you can look up, you can get up. Posh, clap. Mm -hmm. Right, to the decks. Ace of your deck, yeah, the wounded healer. Mm -hmm. Ninth house energy again in the number nine. Two nines on the tablet. Lean in, bestie. Lean in. Whatever these emotional drains or outside influences, it's a minor game. Nothing touching you. You could have as many as, what, nine people against you or maybe eight. You are holding, what, the spiritual one, darling, this, setting your intention. This is about you being able to overcome whatever they're saying in the background because ones also represents gossip, darling, this, slander. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Mine again, star Indias. And again, we're back in the ninth house, Sagittarius, Jupiter energy. Mm hmm. Okay. Because the ninth house is also representative of moon energy, darling dears. Moon is for what? Back, front, neck, tabbers, darling dears. People giving out false information. Mm hmm. Fake friends. Listen, anything that's behind you is nothing to be what? Recognized again, remember. <laughs> Salt Bay, Lot's wife. Mm -hmm. Let's give it a good shifty and see what's going on for you. So what's the issue? You're balancing out, letting go of situations once and for all. And look what comes straight up. Chariot energy, darling dears. We just called the chariot. This is you advancing, moving forward in your warrior energy, darling dears. It also speaks about being spiritually guided at this moment in time. Yes, you've got a lot of control over yourself, darling dears. Mm -hmm. It's about you continuing to move forward, darling dears, with confidence. The energy of the chariot, darling dears, could also represent an, a new car. A new home, a mobile home, darling, dears. Mm -hmm. Again, it speaks about travel. Maybe domestic or international is earmarked for you. Mm -hmm. It's about you continuing to stay focused, darling, dears. If you're going to go into some form of partnership, this is going to be extremely victorious for you. Remember I told you that, okay? The chariot reminds you to stay dip disciplined and controlled in your emotions as you push through all of the challenges that you have faces, faced, which you have, darling dears. Energy of the past. So whatever came for you, darling dears, you still got right back up. The next card, the tower on its forehead, darling dears. Listen, when we see Major Arcana coming straight out, divine has a hand in your life, darling dears. Did I not just say black sheep? Yes. You're a what? Um, A cat, black sheep. Remember I told you that? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, this speaks about in reverse, darling dears. Somebody is also contemplating unaliving themselves, darling dears. Unable to, able to get over a painful breakup. Whether it was a marriage, a friendship, long-term friendship, um, a partnership. I don't know. Whatever that ship, ship was, it's over, darling dears. It also speaks about somebody having some form of major loss in their life at this moment in time. Mm -hmm. Someone who's trying to resist the inevitable. Mm -hmm. Come through, Mr. Smith. Posh, clap. Neo is here. Hey, hey. Woo, child. Yeah. Good golly and the gosh, darling dears. In a love situation, right? This is a crisis in a relationship which is unavoidable. Mm hmm which is leading to some kind of sudden collapse someone is still holding on to what's falling apart allowing some kind of a situation to uh, situation to transform some form of event darling dears yeah they don't want to allow this this transformation of this event darling dears it's a very uncomfortable situation for you it means you avoided a scud missile darling dears Okay, take it from the middle. Yeah, you're going to have a reason to celebrate past issues. You went through some hard times, darling dears. 
but it's about your spiritual faith it also speaks about your ancestral team being surrounded at this moment in time but you have to call them in if you want them to help darling dears okay avoiding the scud nissa you're gonna have a reason to celebrate again good Kali and the gosh um Mm -hmm. The tower is uh, Mars as well as fire energy. We've also got Cancer, which is the moon, chariot energy, dial Indias, and good golly, and the gosh. Lean in, bestie. Lean in. The three of cups is uh, Mercury, um, which is Cancer energy, dial Indias, in the upright. So you've got some kind of celebration. It also speaks about your feminine energy, dial Indias. Maybe you're taking on a more soft life. Why? Because you've overcome the emotional drains that are outside influences, darling dears. Stay with me, bestie. Stay with me. <laughs> yeah. Those same ones whose um um whose lips would invite a beating, darling dears. We ain't got no time to be tussling in the dust with the feeble minded. They are misogynists and misandrists, darling dears. They don't like no one, especially themselves. Low self-esteemers, darling dears. Low self-esteemers. It could also speak about a third-party situation. Feminine energy involving another female or male, darling dears. Good golly. And the gosh, darling dears. And the gosh. It's, the Three of Cups also speaks about this being an, an exceedingly what abundant time for you, darling dears. You've got some form of luck coming towards you it also speaks about you having been in a situation where maybe your partner wanted the relationship to be open but they chose to keep it what silent like the grave darling dears you didn't know that you was involved in many a thruple many a thruple darling dears your ph balance was never the same mm -hmm. i'm telling you you can't trust no one and if you've got a partner, you should be using protection. I don't care who it is and what they came in on, none, the darling dears. Your physical, your strength, your health, darling dears, is your wealth. Without your health, you have nothing. Nothing. Trust me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's press on. Let's press on. So it's the overcoming of a situation, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Um... It also speaks about new communities coming towards you, darling dears, new friendships. You're going to have a cause to celebrate. It also speaks about dates and dating. Or again, the energy of the four. Somebody inviting you on a date which has a long-term perspective in view, darling dears. Mm -hmm. It's about you also embracing the bonds that have always embraced you. Remember I told you that. So you overcame a situation, darling dears. Oh. Ah. Ah. Fabulous. <laughs> a situation that gave you pissanthrobia where you couldn't trust no one. Mm -hmm. So, okay, let's talk about these outside influences. First card, this person is a fool, a dummy bat, feeble minded. Yeah, a creature from the backwoods with yarn for hair. This person took risks on your life, darling dears. Right? What else? Emperor energy, darling dears, right next to it. Listen, next to the fool, if you was married or if this was a friendship partner, whatever, if you was in a relationship with this person, this person is an um, absent parent. It also speaks about whatever they've got coming towards them. They've only just touched the surface of the bad luck they've called into their life. Remember, I told you that. It also speaks about, for some, a matriarch in a family is about to pass, darling dears. But it also speaks about a lot of skullduggery around this matriarch or patriarch in a family. It could be male or female because the gender in fluid is, is fluid in tarot, darling dears. Someone is about to pass, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Someone is also going to be hesitant in contacting you for this past Asian of this matriarch or patriarch of a family, darling dears. Why? Because they're under karma, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Okay. But you, you're overcoming this situation, moving forward. You lost a lot of money. It also speaks about this outside influence. It affected your health. Pentacalis on its face is not good, good. It's bad, bad, darling dears. Bad, bad. 
it also speaks about it affected your health, your finances, and it also speaks about if it was involved in a marriage or long-term situation, even a friendship. It was a marriage of their convenience, whatever that marriage was. Yeah, listen, they took the piss. No, they didn't take the piss. They took a shit in your life, darling dears. But remember your hairline. Remember your hairline is coming back, darling dears. No more reverse fryer tuck for you, fist bump. As um, young Jeezy said, Ziploc and straight drop. Mm -hmm. It's toe tagging season, darling dears. Yeah, this again represents a third party or a gossiping third party, someone that they held in higher regard than you, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Yeah, high priestess on her forehead, darling dears. On her forehead. What can we say about her? It speaks about a lot of secrets, darling dears. A lot of secrets that have not been revealed. Mm -hmm. Someone who's extremely low self-esteem. The High Priestess also speaks about the breakup, the ending of this friendship. They enjoyed your company, darling dears, when you was giving them your all. Telling them all your business, darling dears. Sharing these intimate moments with them, darling dears. But there was nothing but an emotional drain, right? A physical, financial drain. And again, check your pH balance, blood, bra, or cistrine. Mm -hmm. Created a lot of disappointment in your life, darling dears. But it also speaks about what? No more chances. Yeah, You're, it's a done dollar for you, darling dears. Four of cups in the upright is cancer and moon energy darling dears mm -hmm. someone also speaks about going full on no contact you can't contact me not even through a medium blood mm -hmm. <laughs> Ooh, child someone is definitely dis disappointed someone from the past who is an emotional drain or drainages right are disappointed that they can't f with you again queen of wands you've got the third eye on mitches and bitches it speaks about you being you're a good public speaker, darling, dears. Queen of Wands in the upright tells me that you may even be a mother. You're extremely um, proud of the plans that you've created for yourself. It also speaks about what new social contacts, as I said, darling, dears. Mm -hmm. You don't look like what you've been through. You're looking sexy in them screens, darling, dears. Why? Because you're in your own energy. Again, the hermit energy, the self-reflection, the self-understanding, doing things that please thyself, darling, dears, but harm to none. Fist bump. Mm -hmm. You are at this moment embodying confidence, darling, dears, charisma and your determination. Just continue to what? As the queen of ones, trust your abilities. Ones also speaks about work, okay? Yeah, it also speaks about your work, darling dears. <coughs> In your work, there's going to be some kind of dramatic change. Again, the energy of the queen cucks, darling dears. Lean in, best. Are you still with me, bestie? Give me a cat cat in the comments. Mm -hmm. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and what? Share this, this, this vid, darling dears. It could be of help to so many cats out there. Okay, all right, yeah, mm -hmm. you're going to be put in a position, darling dear, some of you will be put in a position where your energy is, is going to inspire and lift and uplift those around you, whether in your immediate home, your community or worldwide. We already saw the ninth house, something that you published, darling dear, social media, hermit energy, whoa, whoa, I mean, good golly and gosh, <laughs> Ah, blow whoa, well, that's another Jamaican word, darling dears. For good golly and gosh. <laughs> Ooh, child. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hermit energy, darling dears. Hermit energy. This is a meeting because the hermit also speaks about um someone coming into your life, darling dears. This person has been paying attention to you. You may be on social media or have some form of social media, darling dears. This person's coming through with an offer. Could be a contract or it could be love. Good well, the romance. The romance, darling dears. Hangman. <laughs> hey! You're gonna look at this person very closely to see if they're not if they're not crazy, crack on crazy. Hangman is Neptune energy, darling dears, the twelfth house. Okay. 
You're going to be looking at their 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 past habits and patterns. You're going to be looking for self-deception. You're going to be looking for escapism. Are they on the drugs, the alcohol, the pills, whatever, darling dears? You're going to be looking for mental health. You're going to look at this situation, darling dears. The Knight of Cups is someone who is very charming. Hermit energy is matching your energy, darling dears. Two of Swords. Yeah, you're going to have to make a head over heart decision whether you want to get involved. Now, let's get the tiny cards to pepper the cards and get some more out of this. Ace of the deck. Ace of Pentacles in the upright. So, you better days for your health, darling, is discovering the herbs that you possibly need. Right. Okay. Yeah. Lean in, bestie. Lean in. The Knight of Cups, as I said, somebody who's very charming, someone who, um, I don't know, love at first sight, darling dears. It speaks about seduction. It speaks about dating, going on a date, darling dears. Somebody coming through some form of romantic gesture. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. On the Queen of Wands, yeah. Look, the emotional drainage of it all, five of wands, lots of conflict, lots of confusion. People competing where they don't compare, darling dears. Yeah, on the arm, um, the fool in the reverse, you've got the Knight of Cups and the Queen of Swords. You put someone in their F in place. What do you mean, blood, bra, or sistrine? You let them know straight up that they are a bird that flew too fast past their nest, darling dears. Yeah, someone that took a risk on your life, darling dears, in your life, and you're thinking very clearly, you told them what for. Mm-hmm. It also told us that you was going no contact, darling dears, so you've gone no contact with many a person, yeah? What they did not anticipate, if this is a third party, darling dears, is the investments that you was making into yourself, yes, into your health, darling dears, even your long-term investments. It could also represent cryptocurrency, darling dears, whatever you've invested in, darling dears. It's a shocker. The gossip is real. What's on, what's on top of your head? The King of Cups. Good God in gosh. This person is most definitely coming in to invest in you, darling dears. This, this is like... You've overcome so much, darling dears. Look, the temperance bringing everything into balance. This is balancing out your finances, your management of time. And it also speaks about a secret admirer stepping forward, darling. Listen, it also tells me how spiritual you are and you are being protected. It tells, look, a foot on both the land and the water, darling dears. Again, manifestation mode because of the determination you put in, darling dears. You're about to see reap. The benefits of whatever you've been working towards king of cups again this could be the person coming towards you or it's about your emotional maturity turning your back on what once was we've also got what the hierophant energy yeah this could be about you having some formal training you being a teacher a student formal education darling dears mm -hmm. i love it i don't hate it the hermit as i said um, is representative of um, Taurus Earth energy, darling dears. A new structure and possibly going into a new job, darling dears, for some. Okay. Mm -hmm. Somebody's also being guided to take on some kind of education, whether it's spiritual, religious, wisdom, um, things that align with your belief. If it's a relationship, darling dears, this new partnership coming towards you is going to be based on tradition and um committed partnerships okay which will lead to long-term stability this is about you trusting the po process pardon me that was a spiritual belch because i speaks the truth roof pinkies up yeah going towards something different darling dears being guided okay and again it's about public speaking the higher font is the second house the second house is the house of your values um things that are important to you darling dears how you earn money um your hidden talents um beautifying your home because um taurus is venus energy beautifying your home where you live darling dears but most of all it's about your self-worth and you've got it in spades blood from the light and the dark 
Know your worth, darling dears. Nothing wrong with isolating yourself to examine the situation and still staying gone. Mm -hmm. Love it. You have to remember that all of these people, past people, emotional drains, outside influences, darling dears. They are shepherds of the devil, straight from the crevice of the devil's balls. And you must say, shiitake, that's Swahili, for I didn't want it. Mm -hmm. Some people will try to come back to try and shoplift some panani or fatum from you, darling dears. Keep that well and truly closed. Remember your pH balance. Ha! Mm -hmm. Some people would like to come in, darling dears. They're having a bad financial time, losing money. Again, I'm speaking on as well the passing of a patriarch or matriarch in a family, darling dears. Someone who lost their money within the family. Maybe their their um their inheritance, a will, some money was taken from them, darling dears. And whoever they was involved in, darling dears, they're gonna have to answer to God. For the disappointment and disillusion they cause this matriarch or patriarch in a family but definitely going on definitely moving towards somebody who is of like mind like intellect intellect same values this person is about to reveal themselves to you what fell in here the nine of cups darling dears fell on the low shoe grid darling dears we started it on a nine we had the hermit with a nine and we're going to go ahead and put the next nine of the nine of cups so you've got nine nine and nine on the tableau darling dears this is the end of a long karmic cycle and it's the start of a new chapter the nine of cups speaks about it's like having a genie in the bottle just rub it the right way bestie the right way mm -hmm. i love it i don't hate it it's fabulous, gorgeous and lovely. Your wishes are about to be granted. It also speaks about your emotional cup. You found the nine cups by yourself. Maybe the tenth cup will come with this new person that's about to reveal themselves to you. Mm -hmm. Be more content. Be more satisfied with what you are achieving for yourself. Yeah, you worked hard for this, darling dears. Now it's the time. Now is the time for you to enjoy the fruits of your labor energy of the seven of pentacles. You've got to start embracing the joy that comes toward you, right? Um, it's going to be joy from your accomplishments, joy from a relationship, and joy from your own personal goals, being satisfied beyond your wildest dreams. Remember I told you that. Okay, let's get a final card. I'm going to go with the Making Magic Oracle deck. Haven't used this in a month of Sundays. Final cards for the big cat as they step into the best version of themselves. Maybe this is the title for the read. I can't make this up. Wishes come true. This is a sigil. You can draw it, keep it on you day and night until the next new moon in Libra where you will burn it, darling dears, under the new moon. Mm -hmm. Rapid achievement of your dreams and wishes. Dare we look at the base of the deck? We dare, right? You are the dragonfly. This is also a sigil, right? You bring light to the world and your words have wisdom, darling dears, and they are meant to be shared. Remember I told you that you've overcome a major, right? Life lesson. You're about to reap what you sold. Mm -hmm. On that note, I drops me mic. Todd love to my Teesprings, my Patreon on my TikTok, where I also upload videos. And as I always say, don't get smoked. And don't smoke yourself. From the ashes, baby. Namaste. Big cat way. Until we meet again. On these tarot streets. For more tarot and astrological insights and once again make your way bestie oi i had to come back because i didn't show you this card the three of cups celebration dating darling dears emotionally filling up your own cup new social contacts new friendships darling dears all new everything Remember I told you that?
Thank you.